hey, in the nation, Peter Rob Bandit here. Hey, I just got myself another bike. I'm uh, falling in love with these folding travel portable bikes and I uh, want to take this one out and set it up. Now, a couple things that I'm a little worried about is that uh, this one was a little harder to find, but I got it because it didn't have all the features of the other bikes that I showed you, but it was significantly cheaper. Uh, at just about $100, this seemed like it had the uh, style of hinges and clamps that I like that make it easier to kind of fold up and pack it up. It also seemed to be, you know, fairly small and sleek and still have that 20 inch wheel. So it should be pretty comfortable to ride. Uh, but the English in the description was a little bit broken. So I don't know if they, if this bike is truly like fully assembled like the last one was from Best Choice Products because it said, uh, has no need assembly. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so just want to show you here, first of all, uh, I have never seen a bike come less assembled than this. In fact, you know, the seat isn't even attached to the post. Not even sure where that is at the moment. Uh, I guess it's already in there. Uh, the handlebars, you know, as you can see here, the brake cables aren't even connected to the brake uh, handles. It, I guess it does come with like mud guards for the wheels. But, I mean, this is going to be the most challenging build of them all. So I guess you get what you pay for. So I'm not entirely sure what they meant when they say no assemble needed because uh, I guess it doesn't need it. But if you want to ride it, you're going to need to assemble it. So, uh, uh, you know, compared to the best choice products bike, this one is just night and day difference. Now it does look pretty good. I, I like the black, I like the style. I like that the back uh, bone here is just a straight uh, bar across, but in terms of putting it together, um, it's gonna require some work. The other thing that this doesn't have is a Shimano gear set. And in fact, I'm not even sure what this is. Saiguan is what you get on there. So hopefully it works, but uh, you know, there's a reason that this is an $80 uh, discounted bike versus the best choice. So let's get this thing. Okay, put guys, basically I've got to put, put together. Uh, first of all, like I said, this was the hardest one. Um, it doesn't maybe look like it because there wasn't as much styrofoam making it look like a mess, but man, there was nothing about it that was put together. Now there's some stuff I like about it and some stuff I don't. Now it does seem to come with like these mud guards for the tires. But I could not, for the life of me, figure out how they go on. And uh, so that comes with that. But what it doesn't apparently come with is like a front reflector, which is kind of annoying. I feel like I'm going to have to get some reflectors for the front and back here because uh, this one doesn't come with either. Now on the other bike, especially the best choice bike, which I will tell you right now, I like a lot more. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. If you're going to get one bike, it's worth spending a few extra bucks to get the best choice bike, not only for the features, but the ease of assembly. So this doesn't have a front or back reflector, so I'm gonna need that. What it does come with in the box though, and I did take a look through everything, is it comes with this like handlebar clamp on compass, which is kind of dumb. I mean, I guess the compass is kind of useful on a bike, but uh, I, instead of having something like this, I certainly would have appreciated having either reflectors or maybe come a little more assembled. Fit and finish also was a little bit more suspect than the other bikes. Uh, especially getting that front wheel on. The brakes were kind of completely misaligned. Now the brake cables up on the handlebars weren't even connected here. So if you're not mechanically inclined, do not get this bike. In fact, I've never really put a bike together with this much detail, certainly not the other two that I did. And so kind of figuring out how they work, how they how it kind of cams into the handlebar here, and then how you have to kind of loosen up the calipers and then, uh, you know, kind of, gently set the brakes and then tighten everything down. It's, it's kind of tough. Um, so I would not recommend that for the novice. And the other thing is like these, these screws, which are kind of typical, um, are pretty hard to tighten, especially the one on the seat. I'm going to have to end up getting like some pliers to tighten that up because you just can't get a good grip. There's not a lot of knurling on this nut here and I cannot tighten it anymore. So I'm going to have to use pliers to do that. That's going to be a little bit of an issue, especially if you're trying to like tighten this thing up in the field. I can see that kind of being an issue. So uh, there also appears to be like a bracket here 
for either the reflector or a luggage rack, something like that. There also appear to be two holes here, which I think would be for a, like a water bottle holder. Now, a couple things that I do like is that this front latch up here, and it's the first time I've seen it on like a bike like this, is that it's adjustable. You can uh, kind of change the, the tension on the latch here, which is kind of nice on the front portion of the bike. So you can kind of dial that in so it's enough tension, but not too much, and then it snaps down and then obviously this little this little plastic loop will hold kind of hold it down so that's kind of nice and then this one i actually like it's probably my favorite latch of all the three bikes but it's very similar to that best choice bike in that it, it opens like this and it tightens up but unlike the best choice bike this is just a screw going to this post so i can tighten it or loosen it just by hand i don't need an actual another wrench on this end to uh, loosen that up and then like I said, you know, on the other bike, which I really liked on the best choice, there's a little, this this whole mechanism is on a spring and it pokes through a little hole here on the hinge so it won't accidentally open up on you. You gotta kind of lift that up to disconnect it and fold the bike. So I do like that. Um, so I think that's kind of a, a nice little innovation there. Uh, the bike looks pretty good. Um, the, the pedals here don't fold like they do on the best choice bike and they're, you know plastic and they just don't seem quite as robust as the other uh, pedals but they look like they'll they'll certainly work and you know other than that i have not tried the gears or anything like that yet we'll take it on our little road test here pretty soon and i'm not sure what a mayo means but uh here's all the markings new a9001 by a mayo and you know i like I said, I think a good looking bike, just not, just not the best value on a bike yet. So let's take it outside and see how she goes. All right guys, maybe you can't see here, but it's raining. And so I'm gonna have to shoot my commentary inside. And actually I was kind of tweaking so many things while I was biking. I didn't have a chance to shoot video of the bike while I was on it because the seat kept falling down, the handlebars kept falling down and it kept having to come back and tighten things up a little more. Uh, even the brakes were a little loose, so I came and kind of tweaked those. I've been figuring out now not only how to adjust them down here, but also with the little screws up here to kind of fine tune the uh, the tension on them. So learning quite a bit about bikes, but if you didn't want an education on bikes, like I said, then this one isn't for you. And now I spent, uh, you know, the better part of an hour or so putting this thing together and uh, kind of dialing in all those details. If you don't have tools like Allen keys and things like that, you're gonna be kind of out of luck. Uh, I do like some things on the bike. I think it's you know pretty compact and I do like the way the hinges work and some of those things, but I don't know if it's these the rubber or the uh, plastic that they use in here. Uh, you know, it just seems to slide a lot. The gear shifting actually worked out pretty well. Now the numbers here, when I kind of shifted from gear to gear, uh, it was, a little sloppy the numbers kind of don't really line up that well but it did shift gears without a problem you know i was fairly uh happy with that you know because that could have been really really poor um you know and, and it felt pretty good as you were biking now the the bigger problem i think is that i'm getting a little bit of like touching on the pads you know and you can definitely feel it at a low speed so i think the wheels are either just a little bit out of true alignment or maybe they're not bolted perfectly um, you know in line with the axles or something like that I've seen guys put these things up on racks and spin the tires to make sure they're true and round and spinning correctly so I think they're just a little off because they're kind of tapping the brakes you don't really feel it at speed but you kind of feel it the little bit of the pulsing at really slow speeds the other thing I will say is because it was already a little damp out here when you are turning corners in a bike with this short wheelbase just be prepared that the front wheel is not going to grip, man. I actually turned uh, the wheel here and kind of pulled a Yui on the wet pavement, man, and I almost rolled the thing over. So always wear your helmet too, but I'm not your mama. So like I said, for a hundred bucks, if your time isn't uh, too valuable, you can certainly put it together, but you're going to have to do a lot of work on it, um, you know, versus that best choice bike. So let's compare them. All right, guys, so after all of that, uh, I've got the two bikes out here, this Amayo and the uh, Best Choice Products bike, and there's no comparison in my opinion. The Best Choice bike is better, and even at the price point that it's at, it's it's better than this bike. I think, you know, I checked 
and you can find the best choice products bike anywhere from $115 to $150. And this one was about $105. And so for $10 more, uh, this one is just far and away better. Now, this isn't a bad bike. It certainly serves its purpose, but I want to show you a couple things. First of all, this comes with the luggage rack, the rear reflector, the front reflector, reflectors on both wheels, and the Shimano brake or the Shimano gear set, and just the fit and finish has been much, much higher. So no reflectors. Uh, I think the, the things that this bike has going for it is it's a good looking bike and it's a little bit cheaper, but you know, no, the no reflectors, uh, the Saiguan uh, gear set here, uh, the fact that this is probably the most complicated folding bike setup I've ever done. I think the key here is that um, this, the best choice is better. In fact, the cool thing here, which doesn't matter that much, are these folding uh, pedals too. That's pretty, that's pretty trick. And then the wheel guards. I mean, I could just go on and on and on. Uh, so while not a bad bike, this one is clearly hands down the winner. Hope that helps. But get this one. Peter Von Vanda out.